Hi guys, welcome back. Um, in this uh, chapter, I'll give you a little bit of an overview how I build um, uh, kicks and beats around uh, around this little theme we have right now. And obviously, when it comes to drums, well, there's so many different um, uh, drum sounds you can choose from, and I don't, I want to save you the time for me to go through hundreds of hi hats or go to hundreds of kicks to pick one. Um, so I already made my selection. Obviously you can sort of buy or and find millions of sample libraries out there or buy drum computers or uh, get your own kit. For this track, so I'm, I'll be more focusing on what I do with the sounds that I chose than uh, searching for the sounds. So here's my main kick for this sound. It sounds like this. Nothing uh, extreme. We're not making EDM here. So yeah, this is the main kick sound. Um, and um, you might be familiar with multiband compressing, uh, with a sidechain compressor. Compressing, it basically, for the people who don't know what it is, it basically um, pushes all the other sounds apart from the kick away when the kick is playing so that the kick comes through everywhere and doesn't sort of uh, have anything in the way. Uh, the way to do this is to copy the, the your main kick to a different channel. I put it up here, I'll call it guide, because it's going to be our guide for the sidechain, our guide channel, uh, and I'll route it to bus 7, for me that works, bus 7 has no output, so basically there's this, I'll, I'll loop it throughout the track, there's this kick that, um, that's going to bus 7, and um, this one is routed to bus 7, so you can see it's already if it's playing, it's already responding to that. And I can do the same, I can for instance now also put a sidechain compression on the lead. So you can uh, see it's sort of reacting to the kick. I always like to put the attack pretty fast because uh, when the kick comes it straight away the sound gets, uh, the volume of the lead gets dropped. Because if you would put it, for instance, over here at 60 milliseconds, it would take 60 milliseconds for the compressor to understand what's going on and to, for it to respond properly. So I'm going to put it around here. If you put it on zero, it, it could be become a little bit clicky. So I always kind of tend to put it somewhere around here. There you go. So we have a kick now. Um, in my uh, template, I have all the channels routed to bus 11. Um, bus 11 does get sidechain compression over here. But then again, you don't want your kick to be pushed away by the kick itself. So the only thing, the only exception is at least the kick. So I'm going to put the kick to bus 12 in my case. So right now we have a situation where everything goes to bus 11. That signal together gets sidechain compressed, so, gets, uh, so the kick gets through. Then it goes to bus 12. There the kick gets added to it, and uh, together it goes to output one, uh, uh, main out. Um, so yeah, that's it. and in later on I can always decide, okay, this or that sound, I don't want it to be sidechained that much, or I want so then you can route it to a different bus. But so in general, there's one big sidechain compression bus, and uh, the kick now does not go there. So this is what we have. Uh, one thing that's important for kicks um, and all the low end in club tracks is to uh, make it mono because a lot of clubs are um, are set in mono actually because they, you know, they're not like uh, pop stages where there's a nice stereo image where you have a speaker on the left side and speaker on the right side. Some clubs have, you know, have corridors and weird shapes and it needs to sound good everywhere. So a lot of sound technicians in clubs uh, just put a whole club in mono. It's pretty extreme, but it's true. And, um, well, I want my uh, I want my kick and my bass and the important stuff on my house tracks to sound good everywhere where you stand. So it doesn't matter if you stand on the left side or on the right side, it should sound good everywhere. So. I'm putting all the low stuff, everything, let's say, under 200 hertz, I'm putting that in um, in mono. You can do that with uh, in with the native plugin gain here in utility. And now I have a mono kick. I also EQ'd a little bit. 
I have my template set to here that from 34 four hertz it's gonna slowly sort of go down. Um, yeah, this, I mean stuff like around 20, 25 hertz. It's uh, it's gonna be a lot of rumble and it's gonna be pretty heavy for your mix, but it's not gonna add so much. I mean you don't you hardly hear it. You feel it on some some sound systems, but if you would play it on your laptop, you wouldn't even hear it. So I tend to just throw it away and focus on the higher region. So from 30, 40 onwards. Uh, most of my bass sounds even it's much higher even. I'm not uh, totally happy with the kick yet, so I'm going to add a few extra kicks. I have uh, two extra that I like as well. Um, here's one. It's more. Um, it doesn't really have much much low, and here's another one. So they're more sort of organic than anything else, and um, I think it's good to to add. These do go to uh, bus eleven. I'm gonna take the take the low off, so it's only about more the high parts of the sound. Maybe they're a bit high in volume. I'm gonna add these enveloper uh, as well, so it's gonna be a bit more have a bit more of a click at the attack. This one as well. Let's see how it sounds if we really heavily sidechain it. So then you only hear that the first part of the kick. Let's say this part will be uh, dropped, and it will start. You only hear the second second part of it. Well, I think we should. While we're at it, we should get the claps in there as well. I present to you two claps. Here's one. Okay. I'm gonna put them on the two and four. While we're at it, let's give them a different color. They're a bit loud. Same, I'm going to take off all the low ends. And sidechain compress it. See how it sounds with them one on one. So it's going to be a bit more break beady. So they have uh, all the kicks, and here the claps with only one kick. All the kicks. Extra, extra channel for this uh, clip of here so it can have an extra one. It's okay, but it's also a little bit boring. Um, what I like to do is to add 
I mean, usually people only put kicks on the one, two, three, four, but you can also put a little bit of small kicks in between to give it a bit of a rhythm if you just don't put them too loud. Um, so I'll get out the sampler, good old EXS24. Here they are. So here's kick, and uh, I can make all sorts of uh, rhythms with this. So now we have a bit of more of a groove. It's not there yet. I'm going to add a lot more progression in the next uh, chapter. But um, it's a start. So um, stick around for the next chapter.